Strangers share, share a secret anonymously, episode 8, episode 8. After this, we're going to go to our Discord joint. So, uh, if you haven't joined the Discord, exclamation Discord in chat. Uh, all right. Strangers share, share a secret. Mm -hmm. Phantom Bat. So my experience um, that I want to share right now, because I feel like it's going to help me a lot to heal. It's like when I was 16, I got pregnant from my first Damn. boyfriend. We were in a serious relationship. Damn. And uh, I don't like how James James really get it. By the time. And I ended up um, not having the kid. Like I had an abortion and coming where I come from which is from south america it's a very bad situation i ain't gonna lie that's why i always say be careful out there bro like i mean mistakes happen type like shit but like i don't know some like some people just be like going like crazy like on fucking rico strong time and just on, on everybody you know what i'm saying but like sometimes you just gotta dial it back and just chill out you know what i'm saying like like i did the abortion myself at home like i put some pills inside my body and uh I started to have contractions. It or was uh, saran wrap. Pretty bad. But, and I didn't I mean, have access to like. This is a very shitty situation now. Because of course they were gonna like call my parents and stuff, and I didn't want to do it. So I just remained, you know, in my room the whole time, like suffering, having contractions. Like I almost died. I like. Damn. I almost had a sepsis. Almost got infected. And I feel like that taught me so many things by the time. And right now, I feel like if I would go through the same situation, I would definitely keep the baby. Um, of course, I feel bad. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hold you, chat. There's this ongoing discussion on whether it's harder, harder to be a, a, a woman or a man in terms of like, in terms of physically. I ain't going to lie to you, chat. I'm glad that I'm a dude. I ain't going to hold you. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm glad that I'm a, I'm glad that I'm a dude. I ain't going to cap. I'm I'm very very happy that that I'm a I'm a dude. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff that like I be hearing about women and like what they be be going through like physically type shit. And I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't want no problems. Women's guys be in the mild in terms of that. I'm like, I'm saying like I like I would. I'm not gonna who was you like? I don't know, bro. Bad for the baby, but honestly, I feel bad for a woman because we are being judged no matter what like no matter what the decision is we're being judged and um i would I'd definitely put put, I just keep feel the baby. and thank you for the, the hundred lesson bits. i want to keep from this story is like basically it's your body and uh, you should do whatever you feel more comfortable with Facts. i did it because my parents were very strict with me i ain't gonna lie chat nine times out of ten like just just fuck with your parents say i ain't gonna cap like, once you get to a certain age, just fuck with your parents. Like, you, a lot of the times, bro, your parents just go off of what they be thinking, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying go against everything your parents be saying, because your parents most likely have your best interests at heart. But a lot of the times, bro, like, parents, like, always will go off of their ideals. You're not the same person that your parents are, my nigga. So if you just agree with every single thing your parents say, you're just going to be a, a copy of your, your mother or, or father. You know what I'm saying? So just, like, do be smart, but do, do you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's your life, my nigga. And I felt like I, I wouldn't be able to go through the whole process of telling them I was pregnant without being kicked out of my house, honestly. Um, yeah, that's definitely, that's gonna remain in my mind forever. And I just wanted to talk it all out today because I think that's gonna help me heal a lot. Thank you. So I'm a really open person. I don't okay. really have very many secrets, but I guess a secret for myself is I'm afraid of not loving myself one day. I'm afraid that I'll never learn that. I'm not necessarily insecure. You're watching Blue Ride? Yo, yo, Tim, 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 like, I don't know. Anytime somebody comes up on some secret shit and then comes up and then says this shit, bro, like, 
I don't know. Like, said some shit like that. I mean, I, I feel it, but I'm just like, nigga, like, come on, bro. Like, about how I look or what I'm capable of. It's more of just uh, my heart is insecure. So I want to be able to find that one day. And I hope one day I'm able to fully love myself for who I am and to be okay with being alone. Chat, y'all cool being alone type shit? Like, right now? At least, at least right now? Right now type shit? All right. Um, in terms of relationships, not in terms of being alone, in terms of relationships, like, you know what I'm saying? In terms of being in a relationship, you know what I'm saying, type shit. Not, like, solitude type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not gonna lie, if it's a no, I ain't gonna catch you. I ain't gonna lie, that's, that's something you need to go work out, I ain't gonna cap. My secret is Peaceful. that right. I have had a crush on one of my very close friends for a very long time. And uh, I don't know what to do with that information. Okay, yeah. so the fuck you want us to do with the fucking information, my nigga? If you don't know what to do, wait, like, do I look like a fucking therapist, nigga? If you don't know what to do with the information, nigga, what the fuck am I supposed to tell you, my nigga? Like... Like, what, what am I supposed to do for you? All right, so you were the person who just went. You said you have a crush on your friend. I do. And you're willing to call them right now? I am willing to call oh her right God. now. I'm just going to be like, I've been into you since, like, the first time I saw oh you. Oh, my God. you're incredibly talented and beautiful. Oh, yeah, she's also sitting right there. Uh, <laughs> she came to visit me from uh, Pennsylvania. So, yeah. Oh, I'm so nervous. Is it okay if I curse? That's fine. Okay. Damn. This is so chaotic. Oh, Lord. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey, <laughs> Pre no? Man, that's it. Um, Jinx? Oh, bet. Okay. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is the person I called. <laughs> Did you have any idea she was gonna call you? If, if I'm not gonna lie, I'm 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 cringing so hard, nigga, because I just I just feel like a no is coming, bro. Like No, I didn't Are know. Are you serious? I really didn't know. I was asking I was like, is it gonna be somebody from home? And it was like, I don't think so, and I was like How do yeah. you feel? How do you feel? If um, y'all niggas don't say it, I'ma say it. Kind of surprised. What? Oh, she said it. <laughs> because I, well, I, you're like a. a uh, pre friend, pre friend, pre friend, pre friend, pre friend, pre friend. Show stopping individual. I never thought that you would have a crush on me. And I, like, had a crush on you for a really long time. But I never said it. So. <laughs> Fact. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pretty forward person. Yeah, this is the least forward I've ever seen you. Because, like, if it has been festering for a while... Alright, nigga. Yes or no, nigga. Come on, man. Let's, let's go ahead. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Intimidating. Seriously? Yeah. You're also very... Happy for me, but I'm gonna lie. Interact just pissed me off like I'm saying. Thank you. <laughs> Those are the final thoughts. Yeah. Good job, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Chill. I, I, I thrive on negativity. I hope y'all, I don't know. Every time I meet a guy that I like, I always, like, search up his address. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prison, prison. <laughs> prison, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, prison, for sure. Prison, yeah, nigga. Okay. Yeah, prison. You're going to prison, my nigga. That's definitely some stalking type shit. I ain't gonna lie. It's not good. Uh, good. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I definitely need a. I definitely need the ultra dirt. I definitely need the 360 because I can tell she on time enough. But uh, that's that's not it. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, yeah. I go who you chat. I know some of y'all like crazy girls, bro. I used to not mind if a girl was crazy. I used to actually like a little bit if a girl was crazy. Now I don't want nothing to do with no crazy girls. I'm not gonna lose you, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Getting into it with a crazy girl will only end in destruction. Like it will only end bad. I'm not gonna lose you. It will only end bad. 
Every time I meet a guy that I like, I always like search up his address <laughs> and like look at his house and like see if it's nice or not, or, like see how much it's worth. So, yeah. Nah, what the fuck? <laughs> you go out real estate? This is my secret. So, my great uncle's daughter's ex husband killed my great uncle and the ex-husband has been on the run ever since and it's been like if you don't give context i promise you i'm, I'm definitely banning you on my channel even though you don't watch me i'm definitely banning you years okay but all right y'all y'all not gonna keep giving content so so these two okay this is the thing that really pissed starting to piss me off so these two lovebirds can get fucking three minutes to the fucking video but she gets 20 seconds and can't tell her fucking story like y'all always get the people who just just don't need to tell their story giving them a whole five minute section but then i actually want to hear her story and i can I, and i don't got no context towards it bro my secret is that I was a vegetarian only for the clout. <laughs> Lame ass nigga. See, I'm not gonna hold you. If you're a vegetarian, cool, bro. But if you forcing that shit upon other people, you're a lame ass nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like vegetarian for the clout, bro. What? Who are you? What clout are you getting off of that? Who? Nobody does. Anybody give a fuck? Actually, what the clout are you getting? That's the lamest shit I've ever heard in my life. What clout are you obtaining off of saying repping vegetarian? Like that's that's stupid. We don't care. I plan on moving away and telling nobody. Every time someone's ever tried to stop me, I've listened. I've decided I'm not gonna listen anymore. Um, good, good for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Good for you. Good, good, for, good for you, my bro. My secret is I fantasize a lot about my wedding day and my funeral because they're the only two events for the rest of my life where all of my family, friends, and loved ones will be in the same place at the same time. I fantasize a lot about the the music and the playlist at these events because music is a big part of my life and it makes me laugh to think that I would uh, let my, my mom be in charge of my funeral music because I just know that she's going to butcher that. Um, but the irony is I fantasize a lot about my wedding day and my funeral but I will only be at one of them. He thought that, he thought that was deep as hell. He thought, he thought that was deep as hell. He, child, I'll go hold you. He thought we was about to be like, mm. I ain't gonna lie. He thought that was the one though. He thought he definitely thought that was it. He definitely thought that we was really about to be like, yo, this nigga really spin tight shit. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. Hi. Uh, I spent a month in a mental ward. A string of events from a f I went loco. But for many reasons, uh, we can do a PBS documentary about it. <laughs> I had a friend that passed, um, and I couldn't focus on school and bailed out a UCLA my last All right, quarter. Please, and so the only answer my parents thought was like the mental ward. Me, Kanye West, Meta World Peace. Oh, kicked in the same mental ward. What's up? I, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe, maybe a, another 30 day wouldn't hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? Maybe just another, no, no disrespect or no, you know what I'm saying? Infringing upon his rights. Just maybe another 30 days won't hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, maybe maybe another 30 days won't hurt, hurt nobody. I ain't gonna lie. Let's try 60 days just to be safe. I have a bacterial growth in my armpits that caused them, caused my hairs to turn neon orange. I could only imagine the smell. I could just only imagine the smell. The smell must like that shit must smell rancid that shit must smell like fucking bounce that ass in the press and i'm not gonna lie to you this nigga looks like danny duncan bro so my secret is that when i was younger i was at gymnastics camp and we had a water day where we played with water balloons and stuff 
And so after the day, almost everyone was in the bathroom, like changing out of their clothes and stuff. And I was in the gym with my friend and I was like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. So I asked our coach if I could go to the bathroom and she said no, because there were too many people in the bathroom. So, so she peed like, right okay, there. That's okay. And so then I started walking along the floor and I started peeing. And then I jumped into the foam pit because I had to pee and I wanted to hide it. And so I just jumped in the foam pit, kept peeing. And then somebody ran by and stepped in it. And then I told my friend, I said, you need to go tell the coach that the floor is wet. So my friend went up to the coach and was like, the floor is wet with water. And I said, no, that's my pee. And so, and the coach was like, go to the bathroom right now. And I was like, fine, you didn't even let me go to the bathroom. So of course I had to pee on your floor. Like, I don't know. And then- I ain't gonna lie. You could have kept this one to yourself. I ain't gonna lie. You, I, I, I really mean this. You, you could have kept this one to yourself. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. She just talking like, uh, yeah, you could have kept this one to yourself, bro. Did you see the Wisconsin volleyball league, bro? I ain't gonna lie. I can never look at volleyball the same ever again. I can never look at volleyball the same ever again, bro, bro. I seen it on Twitter, and then yesterday, last night, I seen it on TikTok. Like, the real shit on TikTok. And I was, I was really confused on how the shit wasn't taken down. The shit was on TikTok. It was one of them fucking slideshow shits. And then, like, once you got to the 10th image, it was the actual picture. And I was like, how is that shit on TikTok? You know what I'm saying? But I can never look at volleyball ever again, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Then later, I was talking to my friend, and she was like, what? I finished three times in one hour. You're nasty as hell. Why did you do that? And I was like... Are you kidding me? I had to pee. And yeah, that's my secret. When I was 18, I went to a, um. Her whole shit is blurred out. This is about to be, this is about to be very sad or very crazy. Sex club in New York. Latter half. City and had sex with a number of men and it turns out that almost all of the men there were married and I only found out um, because I saw the man's phone screen and it was his wife and kids. When I was in middle school I used to go to the local high school's football games and beat up kids my age. I have no idea why I did it. But eventually, the police started looking. You want to be in Tokyo Adventure so bad. God damn, Mikey. God damn, Draken. Like, damn, nigga. You want to be in Tokyo Adventure so bad, bro. <laughs> Yo, nah, this nigga's hard about going out of you. Kids my age. I have no idea why I did it. But eventually, the police started looking for me, and they never found me. And looking back on this, I'm incredibly disappointed in myself. And I can't imagine why I would ever do something like that in the first place. It's just horrible. Narrator ass voice? No, he does have that voice. I go again. Trying to be happy. Oh my god. Here we go. Be long. Today, it's kind of hard just because the family problems I have and I just wish that um, everyone going through hard times can stay strong. If you have I agree. problems, you're never alone. That's a fact, but take that shit off, though. I'm not gonna lie. I've had three failed pregnancies. Emo only, please. 12 years ago to the day when I turned 17, I com attempted to commit suicide, but failed. 12 years later, I wonder if I will ever start to feel that way again. And I'm just concerned that one day I could get back to that dark place. And I just don't know what to do about it. We glad you're still here, bro. We glad you're still here. We glad you're still here for sure. Oh, you thought I was going to share a secret. <laughs> okay. 
this is the end of the video. That was a decent video, yo. I'm not gonna lie, the first half of that video was fucking random as hell. I'm not gonna hold you. Especially that fucking girl telling the other girl about her feelings, probably. I, would, I ain't gonna catch you. I ain't gonna catch you. 